G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, I'm in the shed, so if you hear some clicking and clunking, it's just my Geiger counter, so don't worry about that. On the 16th of September, Harry in Sydney was watching a vessel that came into view around behind North Head. This was a very interesting thing to see because the height of the apparent horizon had changed from what it normally is. Now, if you have a look at the inset on the cliff, I've put in a little cut out of a view from the 7th and it can show where the horizon normally sits. Now on the 16th the horizon when viewed by a P900 at full zoom can be seen to be a whole lot higher. Hello everyone this is Harry in Sydney. I caught this boat at 11.13 this morning. Now you can see that the, usually the water on the uh, headland is down here but today the Pacific Ocean has decided to defy gravity and shoot upwards. Uh, it's not, it doesn't happen every day. Um, it used, most of the time, most of the year, the water, the, the horizon sits somewhere around about this little notch in the cliff. Can you believe that that boat is 30.13 miles out from my viewing position? You probably can't believe that, but that's what it, the GPS told me this morning from my viewing position. Okay, so that's what it looks like at 30 miles. 30 miles. Remember some of my other videos with 30 miles, you could only just see the little elongated smokestacks and stuff like that. Pretty weird, isn't it? But that's 30 miles out, guys. 30 miles. There's the boat. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay. It looks every bit like that, doesn't it, when you see it in the video. How much higher, I hear you ask? Well, let's go count some pixels, guys. Well, Harry identified the ship as the Delsa. It's a bulk carrier, and fair enough, that's probably what it is, and it's probably coming into Sydney to load up. We know that the Desla from, the, from marine traffic is 200 metres long. And from a clear side-on image, we can count and scale and work out mathematically that the gantries are about 19 metres above the deck. And then using that information, I can count and scale that the horizon shift to be around 38 metres. Okay, using a triangle calculator, that gives us a 0 0.045 degree angular shift, or 45 one thousandths of one degree. That's all it is, folks. Well, a 2,000mm zoom lens is not exactly trusting your senses, is it, flatties? Could anyone see this by eye, I hear you say? I doubt it. I sure can't. So, what caused that on the 16th of September and also on the 24th of August and way back on the 8th of April this year? What caused it? This is caused by a superior mirage. We see the ship above where the ship actually is. We know for sure that the ocean did not rise up by 38 metres. That would have been noticeable on the North Head Cliff, which is 76 metres high, pretty much exactly eye level with Harry. Harry, at 76 metres, would have also noticed these new beach frontage appearing as all that water was busy seeking its own level. So how can this happen, I hear you ask? Well, let's have a look at Dan Joss. He is demonstrating how to use um, liquid nitrogen to create a hot air, cold air temperature gradient and allowing the light to bend over the curve and that reveals what's behind the curve. So that's a brilliant little demonstration. I'll play a bit of it for you here, just the good bits. And thanks very much, Dan Josh. This is a really good little demo. So this is a large thermal gradient and it's over a very small distance, but it's not too dissimilar to what we're seeing here on Harry's water. It's a much smaller thermal gradient, but over a much larger distance. We can see from the weather in Sydney, from reported by the Bureau of Meteorology, that on both the 16th of September and the 24th of August, there was a colder, moister air pushing in underneath the hot, dry air. And just like Dang Joss, the cold air at the surface and the hot air above it, that gradient was enough to bend the light around the curve. Harry has in days past, when the atmospherics were not being so super ordinary, video ships as they go out further and further and out to 30 miles, and as they went out, we saw less and less of the ships as, now say it with me folks, the ship disappeared from the bottom first. And we can indeed only see the tippy tip top of the boats because now the boat is mostly obscured by water. Curvature. So, sorry Harry, I know that you are happy. Uh, you can see that I'm a little bit happy about this. And you want to milk this for as much as you can. I'll milk this as much as I can. And you've been listening to too much Phuket and you think that gravity is an ugly word. 
gravity is just an ugly word. And you think that all Globers might want to run away. It's um, going to be an interesting little video here. I think the Globers might want to stop watching right now. And you think this can't be explained. Because you can't explain it any other way. Anyway, I won't rub it in too much. Do your own research. Thanks for watching and thanks to the Pacific Ocean for showing us that it can defy gravity. Of course, what's really happening here, Harry, is the... Uh increase in refraction is basically allowing us to see further it's basically affecting the apparent radius of the earth and making it increased towards infinity because and you can tell this to antonio because i know he loves it when i mention the word infinity a flat earth is just a globe earth with an infinite radius oh and one other point harry when you say you hate gravity think about gps's because without gravity you wouldn't have gps satellites orbiting the earth and without the gps satellites you wouldn't be able to prove that your ship was 30 miles offshore i don't know it all sort of falls apart then mate well harry i do hate to pull the wool out from under your eyes no I do hate to pull the rug out from under you, Harry, on this one, and it certainly is a beautiful example of a superior mirage at a long distance. But what you have here is cool and good to look at, but in no way at all does it disprove a globe. Refraction is the science that you're looking for, Harry, and gravity that holds the layers in place, in my opinion. Okay, good subs, that's probably enough of that, so why don't you do your click, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and to finish this off, the snark has kindly let me have a play with some of his stuff. He's a very funny guy. Enjoy this, guys. So many flappers, they are all around the globe What is the stuff they're made of? That is what they'd like to probe They come in many kinds and sorts, that's obvious to see There are not many things on which the flappers can agree Celestial appearances are keeping them up late The distance to the sun and moon is open to debate Their mental incapacity is causing them to moan The formula for density is still a big unknown with logic and with mass to them, not very close at hand Perspective and diffraction they can never understand While Oakley shad stupidities as crazy as Red Pill The Globusters are wrong, but then Mark Sargent is a shill The whereabouts of some of them are terribly unclear I cannot find a video or tweet from Trisha Steer While Dell is sitting in his van, you'll hear him swear and cuss Who is the next flat earther that will throw under the bus? Bob Nodal and his gyroscope have proved a spinning ball And Jaron showed to everyone it's curving after all And Dubai says he is the only true flat earther king To which I gladly will respond my flapper will cause ding Now common sense is something that flat earthers always lack They are a jolly bunch and stab each other in the back This is the final message and your final wake up call Come over to our side we're living on a spinning ball Flurfers here, flurfers there, kill them with the grizzly bear. Flurfers here, flurfers there, they are stupid, I don't care. Flurfers here, flurfers there, ten foot pole, I wouldn't dare. Flurfers here, flurfers there, crush them on the thoroughfare. Flurfers here, flurfers there, crazier than their march hair. Flurfers here, flurfers there, lions lure them in your lair. Flurfers here, flurfers there, science is the worst nightmare. Flurfers here, flurfers there, pelt them with the rotten pear. Flurfers here, flurfers there, common sense is very rare. Flurfers here, flurfers there, throw them from the highest stair. Flurfers here, flurfers there, limb from limb I'd like to tear. Flurfers here, flurfers there, Scotty in his underwear. Hey Delano, suck my balls, I've got a pair. M Benz, sorry content isn't there. Hey Eric, flat earth is beyond repair. Hey Mark, throw your arms up in despair. Hey Trish, empty skull beneath red hair. Hey Celtic, can't find your channel anywhere. Flurfers here, flurfers there. Globe is winning everywhere.